Come on, baby, and let it show. There you go. On with the show. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not going to apologize, but I just, whatever I had available uh, within my greasy little paws, uh, that's what I played. So I'm sorry if you, um, I wanted to keep it with the, uh, with like a, um, oh, what's, what am I trying to say? You know what I'm saying? On the order of temptations and Commodores and stuff. But I, I just slipped this one in here because I couldn't find the other one I was really looking for. And this one was more available. So that's why, uh, and this one here you just got to listen to. Actually, it's got some pretty good, pretty good songs on it for us boomers. It really does. Uh, and anyways, it was taken, um, this is off of Cub Foods. 13 hits from 1968. Uh, yes, but my high school graduating year, most certainly. Uh, anyway, uh, um, what I'm getting at is this particular, um, 19, um, 60, 68 and six, to me personally, 68, 69 and part of 70, I would say is probably Forrest Boomer's the best years ever for our music. If you, uh, yeah, uh, I am pretty, I, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Huh? 68, 69, 70. We'll take those years uh, and we'll run with that. Captain says that's that's the way it is. I mean, that's the that's my opinion, and we're all entitled to our own opinion. That's right. Except except for this bitch. Get rid of her. She keeps sneaking in the studio, and I'm telling you, she's gonna get it. Uh, big shout out to Mr. Gary, Mr. Gary Sinise. I'll tell you, if I could vote him and Linda Moore and all three of them, Gary Sinise, Linda Moore, and Donald Stapleton, I would vote them all in effective immediately to take care of the, to head up our VA programs. Uh, yeah, once again, there's, uh, you know, you hear these, these horror stories, and of course the biggest one, and I, I'm pretty sure you might have heard about it, but, you know, I just can't get it out of my mind. Uh, the Phoenix area of VA where, uh, I don't know over what period of time, it doesn't matter. It, it was inexcusable and people should be in prison for it uh, and whatnot. Uh, where 40 or 41, uh, I believe, was veterans in general or, v or, or Vietnam vets. It really doesn't matter. I got a feeling it was more Vietnam vets because we are the biggest, we are the biggest group of veterans right now. Um, so there you have it. Uh, and anyway, 41 of them died because something on the order of they were put on waiting lists when they shouldn't have been or something like that. Uh, a, 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 you know, an important, maybe it was med change, maybe it was something that they had to have some kind of uh, a kind of a hurry up or some kind of life-threatening uh, operation that they needed, uh, you know, or whatever the case may be. 40, 41 veterans died. Uh, unnecessarily down there in the Phoenix VA. Uh, they are the responsible assholes, pricks, whatever. And it should have never happened. And it should never happen again. And that's why we need people in these high places and especially taking care of our vets. We need people that's got compassion. We need people that's got passion. We need people that really care, not the bullshit caring. We got enough bullshit caring going on in this country, in this world. We got to have some real caring. And I don't know if that's ever going to come about. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to rattle on here a little bit. We got, uh, yeah, the wife wants me to get a part-time job. You hear this? Yeah. And I'm going to file this under cuckoo time, okay? We're going to put this under cuckoo time. It, it is. It's kind of cuckoo time. Yeah. I checked on his job, you know. I guess it was in the area. She wants me to get a little part-time job. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it was called yeah, Pleasure Land. Come on. Pleasure land, hello, McFly. So I checked into it, right? <laughs> they wanted me to sell RVs for them. Are you shitting me? With a name like Pleasure Land, you're gonna sell RVs. Uh, well, okay, I, I'm uh, maybe I'm missing something here. Uh, uh, I don't know. Anyways, if you haven't heard the big news on the Vatican, the Vatican uh, is tired. They said they're sick and damn tired of the of their Catholics, especially in this country of ours, of, of running off to these bingo halls and casinos and all this other stuff. Uh, so they're going to say Vatican is going to be Vatican City is going to be opening up their own casinos, 
and hot dog. Well, it's going to be like Bellagio's, I guess, is one that's going to be just fat. They got the money, you know. Oh, yeah, well, well, they're supposed to be a religious organization or something, but I don't know. Uh, they're more of a business nowadays. Anyway, uh, they got billions. Um, anyway, uh, they're going to have holy water in their hot tubs and in their swimming pools. Holy water. Huh, can you imagine that? Bingo, 24-7. You betcha. I'm telling you, it's going to be dynamite. Because they're sick and tired of, uh, of us throwing our money away. And in a way, they're right on bingo and stuff. They're just going to have it right there. As a matter of fact, I think this thing goes into effect this, coming, this spring. And they're going to have, they'll fly you. You can get, yeah, I guess you can get, uh, matter, wait a minute. Are we going to have, where are my producer over there? What? Yeah, we are? Okay, we are. Uh, my producer, uh, he's my agent, uh, Orange. Uh, he says, uh, yeah, we're going to have that. So that's fine. We're going to be having a contest and whatnot for people who get a week's paid vacation to the Vatican, uh, the Vatican's uh, new casino over there. Uh, yeah, all expenses paid. Check in with uh, check in with Captain Boomer on that, and we'll have more information for you guys on that. And uh, Clato Barada Nectu, remember that Clato Barada Nectu. And if you can name that movie, uh, I'm going to send you some free tickets, some tickets, so you can come on down and be a guest on Captain Boomer's live uh, podcast. Yeah. I mean, some people might think that's pretty good. Yeah. You can barbecue it. You can broil it. You can bake it, saute it. There's shrimp kebab, the shrimp creole, shrimp stew, pan-fried shrimp, deep-fried shrimp, Stir fried shrimp, pineapple shrimp, lemon shrimp. There you go. And if you, that's part of our other contest that's coming up here. Uh, yeah. Uh, I believe right around Christmas we're going to have this, right guys? Yeah, okay. We're going to have this right around Christmas where if you can, if you can name all, and I believe there's 22 of them, there's 22 of uh, Bubba Gump's uh, different types of way to fix, prepare, and and uh, uh, salads and whatever uh, to, to work, uh, to make a meal with shrimp, okay? Hey, Booba, you ever been on a big boat? A shrimp boat? No, but I've been on a big boat. <laughs> I gotta love that. You gotta love that. All right. Anyway, the Mars people... And if you haven't heard, Mars people, you can only get it through Captain Boomer Station. Um, the Mars Magazine people, and Mars stands for Medicated and Retired Seniors. Yes. It might be a little cuckoo to you, but it makes a little sense to me. Anyways, um, they, they uh, where were we going with this? I, I, I kind of lost it now. Oh, they were saying, uh, Mars Magazine says that uh, Captain Boomer, I am up. I already won it, though. This is an old news, but I did win the Boomer's Choice Award for podcasters last month. Yes, I did. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's get a couple bells in there, huh? Hey, that's the old captain's bell. I picked that baby up at uh, Goodwill. And this is There you go, three bells. Three bells and all's well. Uh, I'm an old Navy man. I like that. That bell, that, I had to modify it a little bit, but it, it, I like it. Uh, yeah, you ain't going to hear that on the other station. No way. And uh, Paris checked in with me uh, about two weeks ago. And uh, what I do know about Paris, but I do know this much about Paris. I guess they are going to be holding the, the, uh, the Olympics in 2024. Yeah. I say that, I say that so easily, but boy, when I think of that stuff, man, I'll be seventy-four then. I mean, come on, what the hell happened? I want to suck bath, back a little bit of my youth, a little bit. Maybe that's why I do this. It makes me feel younger. It really does. Uh, and whatever you're doing out there, boomers, hey, it doesn't matter. You know, have fun with yourself. Well, not like that, but you know what I mean. Find a hobby. Find this is mine. I don't make any bones about it. I'm responsible for this little show of mine, 100%. Nobody, uh, I do all my own writing for what it's worth. All my own ideas, my crazy craziness comes uh, uh, comes from my canoggin. Uh, and uh, I'm not apologizing for that, but at the same time, 
that this is my hobby. I enjoy doing it, and if I can make a few people laugh along the way, forget about their cares and woes for a little bit, and in this day and age, it's getting harder and harder, and and that's sad. It really is. But anyway, <clears throat> having said that, let's go on to, we're going to go on to, uh, oh, I forgot. I'm working on a new system here um, in a way where where I can have my music, uh, my CDs ready even before the show, so I so I don't have to be fumbling through my vast library, you know, my vast library of all my uh, 187 CDs. Uh, anyway, and by the, by God, 90% uh, of a bought in a Goodwill used. I'm sorry, that's I'm on a really low low budget here, you know, operating costs around here. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to go on to the fat food. People, you know, this is it right here. Okay, hey, rub your tummy and pat your head at the same time. How many of you guys can do that? If you can do it, you are an official 100% boomer. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I've been doing that for years. Yeah, it's easy. Uh, anyway, um, okay, here you go right here. All this is, this is what we have more of, okay? I, I don't know if I had this on my other program or not, but this is what we have more of, and uh, it'll work into what we have less of, because they both uh, go together, kind of. These days, we have more entertainment. Now, this is than ever before. Now, I'm not going to read off each one as ever before, but it's this list of about nine, ten of them that's ev <clears throat> than ever before. <clears throat> More entertainment, more food. We got more alcohol, and I'll I'll touch on a few of these as I go along. And the alcohol one is—it's unbelievable. There's more forms of alcohol than ever before. You can—it's uh, just unbelievable. The, the, yeah, the alcohol uh, 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 Satan saw spirit industry is is just. Oh, they're running scared, big time. Mary Jane is knocking on the door, and Mary Jane is going to get her foot in the door, and she already has in about, what, six states? Oh, yeah, Mary Jane's coming to town, and she's going to kick ass, and alcohol people are kind of running scared. Anyway, uh, and I can't wait for that day, God willing. Uh, uh, more drugs, whether it's illegal or over-the-counter or even, even the doctor prescriptions. There's more of them than ever before. Uh, more automation than we've ever had. There's more crime than we've ever had. More abuse, more greed, more hate. Now, along with that, along with that, goes uh, uh, is with this, and this is the sad part, and it's true. All right. Uh, there's less love. There's less caring. There's less compassion. Less joy. Less sharing. Less goodness. Yeah, uh, it's... Yeah, it is. It's, uh... It is. It, it's sad. It, it's really sad. But anyways, uh, there you go. You guys appreciate a little bit? All right, thank you. Yeah, uh, we had four four new listeners in the last couple of weeks. I want to give a shout out to Seattle, Washington. Thank you guys for listening. Pomona Beach, Florida, Richmond, Australia. That's another thing I got I to gotta talk about. And Las Vegas, Nevada. There you go. You got to love Las Vegas, Nevada, even though they're going to be running out of water in the next 50 years. <laughs> Did you guys hear about this news? And I told this to my son. I said, you watch there's going to come a day that I didn't think it was going to be this soon. Uh, I guess there's some company, and it's a, I, think it's, I think it's a railroad company uh, that owns some land in Minnesota, I guess. And it's supposed to be a huge aquifer, fewer, aquifer, aquifer under, uh, you know, down in the ground on this land. But the railroad owns it, and it's something to the, uh, I don't know if I get the story 100%, but I'll get the gist of it. They want to sell billions of gallons, tap into that water that we have. Of course, you know, Minnesota, when it comes down to it, will be long gone, but there's going to come a time in history, in the future, maybe not for 500 years.